Hello guys, welcome to this video and today I'm gonna teach you guys how to fix your MacBook Air if you guys are having a battery problem and this is a very common this is very common if you have a MacBook Air that is um around 20 or 12 such as my MacBook Air so I'm gonna show you my MacBook Air right now which is as you can guys can see it's around the 2013 model so I'm gonna show you guys as you guys can see it is 2013 so if you guys have a 2013 model your battery may be failing on you so if you guys have the problem right here there will be right here will have an exclamation mark and it will say service your battery so today i'm gonna show you guys how to fix it and mine is completely restored and fixed because i've done the fix myself and i can promise you guys that this fix is amazing and it really works wonders on your macbook that is around 2013 to around 2001 and without further ado let's get right in today's fix so before i start today's video do remember to check out my instagram and my twitter i in that let's get right in today's fix so the very first thing what you guys are going to do is basically just shut down your macbook and just hit the shut down button and just shut it down and because this will involve you guys removing the back of the macbook and you don't want to accidentally electrocute electrocute yourself so once you guys have shut down just shut down the top lid and you wanna just turn over as you guys can see there will be several screws at the back of the macbook which you guys are going to perform the removal process so i'm gonna guide you guys through how to remove it so as you guys can see they are basically one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten screws that are diamond shaped screws so it's kind of hard to remove it if you don't know how to remove diamond head screws but i'm gonna teach you guys how to do it and it's pretty simple to do it so basically just get a screwdriver that is basically diamond head as you guys can see right here let's see if it, the camera can focus on it it is diamond so just go ahead and remove it and just remove 10 of them if you guys do not have a diamond head screw you guys can use kind of like a small screw that has a prying opening uh, such as this but not in a diamond shape because i have done it without using the diamond head screw and it is possible but it's quite hard to do it and you may damage your mac so it's more suggestible to use a diamond head screw and you guys can possibly buy it online which i may link down below so do remember to check it out so let's go ahead and remove the screws oops i used the wrong screws by accident all right my bad guys okay guys once you guys have removed all 10 of the screws what you guys are going to do is basically just pull off the venting part of the macbook and just pull it out and you should be have um you should be having relative ease on removing the back of the cover and once you guys are at the back of the cover there are several parts so let me shift the macbook so once you guys are right at the macbook um, component and you want to have the back facing yourself and let us do the battery reset which is pretty simple to do so the very first thing what you guys are going to do is basically you guys will see a plastic uh kind of like a foil thingy and what you guys are going to do is basically use your fingernail and kind of just pull it out like this and you guys don't want to use too many force because the plastic thing may fall out and break and that could damage your mac so do remember to exercise caution when pulling that thing out but once you guys have put it out as you can see you guys are going to wait for around 30 seconds and just let it rest here and after 30 seconds you guys are going to put back from where we just take it out 
So let us wait 30 seconds and I'll see you when we have waited 30 seconds. Okay, so after 30 seconds, what you guys are going to do is basically just put back the thing to the correct slot and just put it in and just close it. And if you guys are having faulty batteries, which I don't think that is the case most of the time, and I just find that repair shops normally cheat your money by not telling you this simple fix that you guys can get yourself because I do know that the service center charge charges around 300 to around 400 dollars if you guys are trying to um, fix your battery that needs servicing but most of the time it's because of this little cable that caused the problem and what those um what those um repair shops what those repair shops normally try to do it's basically they try to cheat you by trying to replace all of these four batteries for you for around four hundred dollars and they are trying to get a profit but most of the times and i'm saying from my personal experience that it's not the case and you guys can easily get a simple fix and probably around five dollars if you guys are going to get this diamond head screw but other than that it's a very simple fix so once you guys have done it what you guys are going to do is put back the cover as so and re-screw all of the screws as you guys can see down at the bottom back into the mag and that's pretty much it and i don't want to waste uh you guys's time on me trying to put back the case of the macbook but so that will be it and once you guys have opened it you guys your battery will basically be restored and the servicing tax will not be there but if it's still there do remember to buy a battery online and i'll post a new video on how to replace your battery in the future i in that stay tuned to this channel do remember to subscribe and like and follow all all of my social medias which is at overall official for my instagram and overall five for my twitter but in that i'll see you in the next video do remember to comment below what the fix you want me to do i in that peace out stay safe